poem is called Although the Wind by Azumi Shikibu. Although the wind blows terribly here, the moonlight also leaks between the roof planks of this ruined house. Da-dum. 
I'd like to read for you the poem, A Display of Mackerel by Mark Doty. I love this poem for his celebration of the collective. Um, in walking past a display of mackerel fish at a fish market, he was struck with how absolutely beautiful and shimmering they all were together. And I think that that is an important message to remember at this time. A Display of Mackerel. They lie in parallel rows, on ice, head to tail, each a foot of luminosity barred with black bands, which divide the scale's radiant sections like seams of lead in a Tiffany window. Iridescent, watery prismatics, think abalone, the wildly rainbowed mirror of a soap bubble sphere, think sun on gasoline splendor and splendor, and not a one in any way distinguished from the other, nothing about them of individuality. Instead, they are all exact expressions of the one soul, each a perfect fulfillment of heaven's template, mackerel essence. As if, after a lifetime arriving at this enameling, the jewelers made uncountable examples, each as intricate in its oily fabulation as the one before. Suppose we could iridesce like these and lose ourselves entirely in the universe of shimmer. Would you want to be yourself only, unduplicatable, doomed to be lost? They'd prefer, plainly, to be flashing participants, multitudinous. Even now they seem to be bolting forward, heedless of stasis. They don't care they're dead and nearly frozen, just as, presumably, they didn't care that they were living. All. All for all. The rainbowed school and its acres of brilliant classrooms, in which no verb is singular, or everyone is. How happy they seem, even on ice, to be together, selfless, which is the price of gleaming. <laughs>